Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the Beer Review Guy. It's uh, Friday night. I have this, now I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I have this uh, Leinen Kugels, Creamy Dark. Thought it sounded good for this evening. It looks like it's probably a dark lager. It says American Dark Lager. Um, the pride of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, since 1867, is what it says on the bottle. Um, it's a 4.9% ABV. There's the, there's the cap. Alright, the date is, uh, September 28th of 2015 so it's like seven or eight months old but I bet it tastes fine we're gonna find out um, I think I feel a sneeze coming on it's that time of season Rape Beer gives it an overall score of 42 and an 87 in style. And Beer Advocate gives it a 77. And the bros give it nothing. Um, this, it's, it's a... Uh, well, it's Line and Kugel's Brewing Company. 10th and Blake Beer Company. That's what it says. Um, the style, it's an amber, an amber lager slash Vienna. Um, uh, okay, let's see. Commercial description. Creamy dark is aged slowly for a deep, for a deep dark color, velvety flavor, and a smooth finish. So there's not a whole lot of information on here. I didn't watch any reviews. It's, there's maybe five or six reviews on this beer not a whole lot uh, I might watch some later just to see what other people said about it but um, let's see let's see what this tastes like smelling like a smelling like a stout right now Dark, dark fruits coming out of there, and it's looking like a stout. Nice coloring. Very dark. It's got a, it's got a ruby color to it when held up to the light. Alright, I got the whole thing in there. Okay. The head is a, a very foamy texture to it. It's got a finger of head going on there. The head color is kind of a light khaki color. The beer, like I say, is like a, is a dark, dark ruby. Otherwise, you can't see through it. Very, very dark brown, brownish color. Carbonation, can't really tell. We'll see what it, what the carbonation gives us on our tongue here. Yeah, it's just got that that dark fruit, <clears throat> kind of a light bitter aroma, medium hoppy smell, weedy. Not really coffee coming out of this, so that part where I say it smells like a stout doesn't have the coffee smell, but. Just a little bit of a, it's a little dankness in there.
All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> huh. Let's see. Well, that's a good flavored beer. Very good. Um, maybe, uh, maybe some dates in there, maybe? Like I say, the dark fruits, um, what else is that? It's got a roastiness taste to it. Um, maybe a little woody. Uh, maybe a little smoky. <clears throat> yeah. The woodiness, kind of a smoky taste. Um, let's see. Very creamy. It does have a very creamy mouthfeel to it. On the tongue, it's got a light carbonation. <clears throat> it's got a, it's just a light, light bitter. Not much bitterness to it at all. Very, very good, very good drinking beer. Very easy drinking. Nice for a Friday night. The alcohol taste, um, Four point nine percent. Not picking up much of an alcohol taste in there, but it's just like um, dark lager. Um, yeah, just the roastiness, the 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 woodiness, um, but and maybe some dark fruits. Very good tasting beer. Yeah, I like it. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. That's a good flavored beer. Um, definitely. Okay. Um, thank one of my um, most recent subscribers, uh, World Tracks. Um, thank you for your subscription. And um, I'm going to end it there. Um, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.